time. So double click on Harry. Double click on Harry and it'll say like unpin video in the top. Uh, and it pins it, she should pop up. Okay, I've got pin video, okay. Yeah. Perfect, thank you. Okay, all right guys, we're out by the court, so hopefully that's a little better. Good to go whenever, Harry? Yep. All right. Coach, just uh, if you could for us, sum up the effort you saw from your team. You got and obviously a loss, not great, but you, you got to appreciate the bounce back and in a tough environment, I assume. Yeah, I thought that we showed a lot of maturity and poise tonight and, and had a consistent effort for 40. I didn't think that we let it get out of control. I thought that we kept fighting. I thought I just really thought that our um, – that our focus was really, really good. Um, and yeah, I, I hate that our kids didn't come out on top because um, they fought really hard for that, but that's what it's going to take uh, from here on out, you know, to, to get wins in the Big 12. From your perspective in a five-point game, what was that difference that kind of would could have changed us from a loss to a win? Yeah, well, I mean, a couple of things. I mean, I felt like we had some missed opportunities, whether it had been a layup here or um, a, a, a costly turnover there um you know I can't really complain too much about our performance at the line um because we got to the line so many times and we were really really good 24 from uh, 24 for 30 is really good but of course you know go 100 <laughs> percent that can take care of it so you know I just think just making a few more plays here and there uh, but but really overall I just thought we battled every single possession you mentioned those 30 attempts from the free throw line. Was that something that you guys were, were pushing to get to the line more, or is it just kind of something that happened in the flow of the game? No, definitely. I mean, we're, we're much better when we attack. Um, we've had more success when we get to the free throw line. Um, I thought that, um, you know, because West Virginia plays such um, – tough man-to-man -man defense. We were going to have some driving lanes. It was just a matter of us getting past ours and, and being physical um, and trying to finish at the rim. So it was definitely part of something that we would do, actually do it every day um, to give us an opportunity to, to win. Coach Gray with an amazing game again. Um, Gordon usually right there with her, but not having really that wasn't really scoring a threat until that end of the third quarter. How tough was it kind of to not have her? And then also, what can you say about Gray's performance yet again? Unfortunately, you know, Lexi did get in, a little, in some foul trouble early in the first half. And, um, you know, we, we considered putting her back in to, to let her play with two, but it was a close ball game. It was a two point ball game the entire time. So didn't see. Um, a big reason to take that risk, um, you know, and then I thought she did, I thought Lexi did a good job of being patient when she came in and trying to get herself in a rhythm and, and still became very effective. Um, you know, Vivian was incredible the whole night. She put us on her back. Um, I thought her teammates did a great job of trying to find her. I thought she was really creative in how she got her baskets, um, you know, and, and she did some things on the inside. She did some things um, from the three point line and then obviously her man as well so um great overall performance um, for her and and then also to not have any turnovers during that entire you know 38 minutes that she played um is pretty impressive and then what do these next few days look like um for you guys four straight losses i know that's tough but you guys have been in every game fighting so you know what do you do what do you change for texas well i i don't know that we've been in every game um i do think that we've finished in the second half a little bit better I thought we were definitely in this game and that that definitely I think shows our kids that um, what kind of fight and effort it's going to take um, to be able to win and, and if we have that type of focus and effort um, we're going to win some ball games um, so yeah we we've got to build off of this you know we're not going to settle for any moral victories we um, we definitely are going to build from this and know that we can compete at a very high level and that we're going to have to have that same um effort and focus on Sunday um, to be able to, to, to play against Texas. How big was the combined 29 for Maka and Najee? Yeah, really big. I mean, I thought they both did a great job. Maka's playing a little injured too. So she had big time warrior, um, you know, uh, effort tonight. And then Najee really proud of her effort and consistency and just, um, you know, just, just battling, you know, I think when she turned it over, she would get upset and we would just kept encouraging her because she's just doing a fantastic job. And the fact that she was able to knock down some shots too certainly helped us. Krista, 
their late third toward mid fourth, or about that about that fifteen minute stretch, or pardon me, about a four or five minute stretch. You had gotten it to a 57, 54, and then 59, 56. And then the Carson, and they made a 12 0 run out on you to kind of get the dif- dif- distance back. And the Carson girls scored 10 in that stretch. Did y'all, I don't know, lose track of her a little bit? Of course, she's not normally one of, one of their top weapons, I guess. But uh, what did you kind of think about that little sequence there? Yeah. You know, um, to be quite honest, and um, you know, they, they play five and a lot, they play five players, a lot of minutes. And then, um, you know, their, their bench plays sparingly and even her, I mean, she played eight minutes tonight, but what a big eight minutes she had. Right. Um, we definitely lost her on the three point line. Um, but we were in a zone. We were, they had not shot the ball well up until that point. And so we were kind of trying to pick our poison. Um, and, you know, so she did get hot from us and, and got, got loose. And um, yeah, that was probably, that probably was the difference in the game to be quite honest is again, um, a, I don't know if, if I want to call her a role player, but a role player stepped up big for them. And um, when we were having a pretty good defensive effort on their top players. Um, also kind of inconsequential to the outcome, but uh, why was uh, Lexi wearing number 50 tonight? <laughs> I don't know if she really wants you all to know that, but actually it's, we pack for them and we packed a uh, smaller jersey of 34 instead of the, her, her normal size. And uh, so it was just on us, I guess. And so we had to get the, the right size. So. So it was just a comfort thing then, huh? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, okay. We got time. Um, One more guys. Uh, coach, obviously you talked about and their bench, doesn't play a whole lot, but they shot really well. Does it almost feel like tough luck when you do such a good job defending against their starting five who plays so many minutes, but then they just seem to find the day when the bench just can't miss? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's tough. It is tough. And, you know, it's, it's tough for, for you to have such a good performance. And then, you know, somebody comes in and, and that, that, that you have prepared for, but at the same time, you know, you haven't focused on as much. Um, so yeah, it is, it's a little bit disheartening, but you know, that's what the big 12 is about. I mean, big 12 has great players and great players step up and, and when their teams need them, that's what they do. So, um, you know, we, we've just got to continue to, to keep working and, um, and, and we got to really start guarding people as if they're one of their go-to players, you know, we've got to continue to focus on um, trying to take away their strengths. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, guys. Don, you're good. My stuff, my stuff ended up working out well enough. Thank you, though. Okay, good. Because because I feel pressured. Uh, I never feel pressure because I always just use my voice. I always just use my voice recorder, and I a lot of times I forget to hit video record. So. I felt I felt pressure when uh, 